Um, we've got to have our guard up, have our wits about us, um, but more importantly, look to go and threaten and uh, hurt this um, this maidenhead side. Yeah, excellent stuff. Uh, and it is Charlie Adams, former Barnet player himself, gets us underway for Maidenhead. Of course, Alan Devonshire is the Maidenhead manager. He made over 300 appearances as a player for West Ham, and already Maidenhead trying to looking to get the ball as forward as they can. You can might even be able to hear the home support. Very vocal today as well. Dean Brennan, of course, the Barnet manager. I was here for that filed win last time out at home at the Hive. Unbeaten in the last six in the league. Five wins and a draw. Four league wins in a row. Oh, and look at that from Idris Carter with Barnet take an early lead. Danny Collins, you were just saying to me about making life a little bit easier and getting off to a bright start, and you've just done it. I mean, that's just sheer quality from Idris Kanu. I've seen him do that a number of times in training, so it's no surprise to see when he gets in that opportunity, he takes it. So, brilliant finish. Um, let's hope we can push on uh, and continue this good start. Um, they're threat on transition, so um, yeah, I think they've had a, a few opportunities now to hurt us, so that's something that um, I'm sure the gaffer will have picked up on and will look to nullify. Um, yeah, they're driving back into the box. Sorry to cut you off there, Danny. Apologies, because there is Mitchell Lawson, and there is the equaliser. Jaden Mitchell Lawson found himself in a little bit of space in the box. It came in and just poked it home. I think Dean Brennan will be a little bit disappointed with his Barnet defence there. That came against Stagger and Redbridge on the 19th of August. The ball's wits in. Oh, my word, it was Kabamba straight at the keeper, though. It goes over. That was almost a replica of the, of the goal on um, Tuesday night. So, um, yeah, pro promising signs. The ball's come back into the box as well as Pritchard, who's reaching for it. His senior loads up on his left foot. Oh, well, it looked like it was in, didn't it, from where we were, where we sat here up at the gantry. Due to the weather that we've had over the last 48 hours, ball's coming in now. And it's won by the number four as well for Maidenhead. That was Will de Havilland. He got his head onto it. Laurie Walker was wise to it. Lost 5-4 and 7-5. Uh, we'll come back to that shortly because here is Kabamba trying to fight for it. He's going to find a Barnet foot though. It goes to Hartigan. Here's Senior loads up on his right foot. That's a shot. It's just left of the post. A good opportunity here for the Bees. Oh, and it had to take a touch did Craig Ross just to not have over the bar. Going toe to toe with his maiden head nemesis there. And here's Smith again. He looks so dangerous driving into the box. A touch took it away, though, from the Magpies. Oh, Charlie Adams, though, with the touch to wing it back. Here's Mitchell Lawson on his right foot. Loads up, has a go with walk. It's forced to make the save again. And he goes as far as Reese Smith. Can he get it on his right foot? He does. Takes a deflection into the hands of Walker. Danny, <laughs> you're too nice. Uh, and I'm going I'm to be nice. To oh, no, straight through here. It is Zimba with it. Wonderful touch. Oh, my word. Wonderful defending there. There's Mitchell Lawson and Golding. Goes back to Keach. Bradley Keach on his left foot, has a shot and it's found its way in. Bradley Keach with the strike on his left foot, gives the Magpies the lead. And the Hive is stunned into silence. Needed a bit of a lucky break, didn't get it. Lovely sliding tackle, you saw the spray coming off him from Harry Pritchard. Here is Senior. Fight works his way into the box. Gets the ball chipped in. Oh, my word. That would have been absolutely spectacular. Ball still in play, though. Smith has it. Oh, and Smith clears it. But takes down Senior, I think. It was uh, quite the lunge. And he is going to go into the book, I think, for this, is he? No. Anthony Hartigan stood over this, though, for Barnett. Uh, who could go to the top of the table if they win by three. Seems like a bit of a tall order. And a minute, it comes in. And it's the equaliser. Told you. I told you, Callum Stead. Callum Stead getting in great opportunity, great position. There he is. Finish it. Go on, Steady. Cut out by Winter. Here's Smith again, though, has it? Here's Keach in acres of space now. On the right hand side. It's a drive in. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Smith still has it. And Walker's still there, and it's just not able to clear. This is quite remarkable. Oh, it's a lovely ball, and Craig Ross just had to parry it. And then back into his own hands there, worth the go. Uh, doubling up. See, it looked like they're doubling up a bit on Carnu here, aren't they, Danny? Yeah. I think any, any team... Oh, what a strike by Gorman. And Ross had to deal with it. Sorry, Danny. Sorry. Here's Pritchard now, shouts a shoot. 
Switches it off to the left. There's going to be seven minutes of added time at the end of this game. Here's Dale Gorman. Whips it into the box and it's a goal! Dale Gorman! Has he just won it for Barnett? No! Oh, Dale Gorman still hasn't realised. It's been chopped off. He's off to talk to his linesman. That will uh, have a little look after the game, but the referee having a chat. And it's been given! That is the voice of Danny Collins. He is absolutely delighted. And has Dale Gorman just handed all three points to Barnett?